James Earl Ray will always be remembered as the man who assassinated one of the greatest civil rights activists in history Martin Luther King Jr. But who was James Earl Ray? What led him to commit such a heinous act? We will explore the life of James Earl Ray and try to understand what drove him to murder a national hero. James Earl Ray was born on March 10, 1928, in Alton, Illinois. He was the eldest of nine children born to Lucille and George Ray. His parents were poor sharecroppers and the family lived in a one-room cabin without electricity or running water. James Earl Ray's childhood was marked by poverty, racism, and a dysfunctional family life. As a child, James Earl Ray was shy and introverted. He struggled in school and dropped out in the eighth grade. He joined the army at the age of 17 and was stationed in Germany. Ray was discharged from the army in 1948 after serving two years. After leaving the army, James Earl Ray drifted from job to job and became involved in criminal activities. He was arrested numerous times for burglary, armed robbery, and other crimes. He spent several years in prison, where he became a prolific reader, especially of books on white supremacy and racism. On April 4, 1968 Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated while standing on the balcony of the Lorraine Motel in Memphis, Tennessee. James Earl Ray was arrested two months later at London's Heathrow Airport while trying to leave the country. He was charged with King's murder and eventually pleaded guilty in March 1969. After his guilty plea, James Earl Ray claimed that he was a pawn in a larger conspiracy and that he did not act alone. He alleged that he was set up by a shadowy figure known only as Raoul. However, despite several investigations, no evidence was ever found to support Ray's claims. James Earl Ray spent the rest of his life in prison. He was initially sentenced to 99 years, but he later recanted his confession and claimed that he was innocent. Ray made several attempts to escape from prison but was always caught. In the years following the assassination, there were several conspiracy theories about King's murder. Some people believed that the government was involved, while others thought that it was a plot by white supremacists. However, no evidence has ever been found to support these theories. James Earl Ray died on April 23, 1998, at the age of 70. He was suffering from liver disease and kidney failure at the time of his death. James Earl Ray will always be remembered as the man who assassinated Martin Luther King Jr. His life was marked by poverty, racism, and criminal activity. The assassination of Martin Luther King Jr. was a tragedy that shook the nation and the world. Although James Earl Ray claimed that he was not acting alone, his guilt in the murder of Martin Luther King Jr. remains undisputed. 